Thoughts? Well, fundament, fun, fundamentals, free throw rebounds, um, you know, shoot 60% from the free throw line, um, and turnovers, turned over 19 times. I think that was huge. You know, we shoot 50% just so if we get more bullets and take care of the ball. Um, but again, it's the fundamentals and, and executing for 48. Uh, once we learn and are committed to playing the game for 48 minutes, we're going to be a pretty good basketball team. But right now, we we're putting together a hell of a three, three quarters, but uh, we just can't, for some reason, for whatever, get to that, that fourth, that four quarter string or four quarter run. Right, it was a we were great shot. I mean, the kid made a great shot. Um, you know, he he um, you know he had to give him space, or he was going to give up. A, you know, a driving path. They were in a one four flat situation. Um, you know, he made, he made a tough shot, tough shot. That, uh, but again, it should not have come to that play. You know, we had so many bonehead plays uh, to get to that point. And, um, you know, to make that, that play relevant is what happened. We should have took care of business before that. We had a five-point lead with a minute and 30, a minute and 20-something to go. <clears throat> we get stripped twice, don't box out in the free throw situation. It's a ball game. How tough is it to, to go down like that? I mean, you're obviously it, but, I mean, it's Well, it's disappointing right now. But, uh, again, you know, I, I said this, and I'm continuing to say it. We are a work in progress. Now, for us to scrap and stay with, you know, uh, stay in these games the way we are is a, a tribute to our guys. Also, too, the way we hand it over, we've got to learn because I would venture to say in the last couple of games we deserved to win the game. And the guys worked hard enough, they scrapped hard enough to win it. And uh, so that's what's that's, that's more disappointing that we worked hard enough to win the games. Uh, but gave them a quarter, whether it was the first quarter or the fourth quarter tonight, uh, is disappointing. So like I was saying, it was, was, was really getting it done and then they switched things up, put Shumpert on him and just shut him down. Well, you know, he did. We got stagnant a little bit in the fourth quarter offensively, trying to go at Lynn, trying to get some isolation plays. They were blitzing our pick and rolls. Um, so and they did a good job of pressuring, pressuring the ball. But again, um, you know, we got to make plays. We had some opportunities to make plays in those situations, and we didn't complete them. Coach, as you said, the effort has been there for two games in a row, but the result hasn't. What do you see in the guys to keep them motivated? Well, you know, it's, it's one of the things about the NBA. There's always another gunslinger coming in town. So, um, you know, it, it's our job. It's our profession. You know, it's one of those things that uh, once we strain together, get healthy bodies coming in, I thought... You know, fatigue played a factor going down the stretch. Without Jared, another ball handler coming in, um, that was a, a factor also. We got to keep battling. That's all we can do. You know, we're not going to go out there and lay down and, and give in. Uh, I'm going to keep battling. The team's going to keep battling and um, keep developing that the mental toughness. Because believe me, if we continue to fight and scrap like that and we get a full, full load, full roster, we're going to be a good team and put four quarters together. Like the physical toughness was there as well. If you guys were, there were like three we straight possessions where Lane got flat. I mean, no question. We we were we were playing a, a physical game. <clears throat> we got to the free throw line. We got to make them. Um, that's the that's the thing. So um, a lot of positives, three quarters. Uh, then again, we got to learn from the negatives in the fourth quarter. Were you all surprised though that, that Lane was able to fight through all that physical contact? No, because he's a big kid. I mean, he's a strong physical player. He's bigger than he looks. I mean, he, so he can take a, a beating, and we tried to blitz him and, and get the ball out of his hands, and we did that effectively. Uh, and then they, you know, the last play, they went away from the pick and roll to take away the help. So um, hats off to him. He made a tough shot, but again, it shouldn't have come to that shot. Clay has been one of your most consistent contributors over the past couple weeks. Can you speak about what you're getting from, from Lennox recently? Well, good. I mean, he was one for six from the three. Did a great job of attacking the basket. Um, he's been a, a, a big force for us coming off the bench and a, a spark plug for us coming off the bench. So he's been he's been super in that role.